When you think of time travel, what is the first thing that comes to your mind? For many people, myself included, the thought of time travel brings up the concept of the grandfather paradox. The idea that a time traveler could go back in time and accidentally, or on purpose, kill their grandfather, thereby preventing themselves from ever being born, which therefore prevents them from ever going back in time and killing their grandfather. Many people point to this as the reason they don't believe time travel could possibly exist. It's a fairy tale that doesn't exist. And when time travel comes up in cinema, this often proves to be a sticking point that requires a degree of suspension of disbelief. And the solution given often raises more questions than it answers. While Marvel in the past few years has dove in headfirst into the realm of time travel, and despite their difficulty at times in explaining exactly how it works, once you successfully put the pieces together, you'll see that Marvel has set up time travel in their universe in a way that strikes the grandfather paradox dead on the spot. So the first question we need to dive into is how does the grandfather paradox work? Now the existence of time travel in and of itself allows for the possibility of traveling back in time and making changes. Sometimes they try and make those changes as small as possible to not ripple out and affect other things. And sometimes they just trample over everything and make widespread changes and the movie adapts accordingly. You see, the problem is every change that you make in the past is going to affect the present that you came from. And that's the whole idea of the grandfather paradox. If you go back and make changes, those changes could prevent you from ever living, from ever being born, from ever discovering time travel. Now, different movies have to handle this in different ways. They all have their own ideas on what the outcome should be, or at least how they want to handle that outcome for the sake of their own movie. Because every movie has to get by this. They have to keep it moving forward. And so there's a couple of movies that handle this in very different ways. And some of these ideas make a little more sense than others, but I'll leave it up to you to decide which are more plausible and which are less. Now we have Back to the Future, who handles this by saying that time is going to correct itself. It's going to slowly catch up, and the changes you make will eventually erase you. And then we have Terminator, where time has always been the way it is, except for when it wasn't. In Terminator, if you go back in time and you make a change, that change is going to lead to the outcome of you traveling back in time in the first place. It is a self-fulfilling prophecy there. The time corrects itself to make sense. And then we have X-Men Days of Future Past, where minor changes don't seem to have an effect, but once you can make a big change, it all corrects itself. So when you return to the future, you return to a new future. It has changed around you without any impact on the time traveler themselves. So you see, different movies handle time travel in very different ways. So the next thing we need to ask is, how is Marvel in the MCU handling time travel? What we learn in Avengers Endgame and subsequently expand upon in Loki is the idea of a branching timeline. The concept that any changes you might make in the past, they aren't going to impact your universe but they'll branch off and create a brand new universe, following along from the effects of your change. This comes from a real life theory known as the many worlds theory. The idea that every decision that has been made has split off and that there are infinite universes out there with different alignments of decisions where things have gone in completely different directions. Now, we don't know if there are infinitely many in here. Marvel has not dove in that deep. But we do know that there are tons of them with so many minor variations causing major differences. And when we look at the impact this has had in the MCU, there are so many instances already where changes to the timeline have had major consequences. When they went back in Avengers Endgame and Loki managed to escape, when Gamora who was killed in the main timeline, was then brought in from another one and following Thanos through. Or when the stones themselves were destroyed in their timeline, 
And so the heroes went to another timeline, or to multiple other timelines, to get the stones to fill in the pieces and do what they needed to do for their own timeline. This is incredibly clever by Marvel. It allowed our heroes to go back to get items that they needed but have been lost. It also allows for people that have been lost to return if they decide to go that route. And yet it avoids some major paradoxes. So the next question, does this cure us of the grandfather paradox? And the answer is a resounding yes. You see, in Marvel, if you were to go back in time and kill your grandfather, oh, that's horrible. a branch would simply form where that grandfather was never able to have their child, which never managed to have you. As a result, that time traveler just never existed. And in that universe, it would continue on without you. And yet, because it's a separate universe, it has absolutely no impact on yours. The result being, you still had the chance to go back and kill your grandfather. You see, change still happens. It just happens in another universe. One that has no idea that they have been altered. They carry on, never realizing that you should have existed. Never realizing the change that you have made. Never realizing they're not the original. And that begs the question, is the MCU we're seeing actually the original themselves? Is there any way to know for sure? Sure so. <laughs> so there we have it. That is how Marvel managed to get around the grandfather paradox and create a seamless theory of time travel. So what do you think? Do you like the way that Marvel set up time travel in their universe? Or do you wish that they had just avoided the topic altogether? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And click over here if you want to see a theory on what would have happened if Zerg had won in the most recent Lightyear movie. Or click over here if you want to see a theory on She-Hulk smashing into the TVA. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of our content, and as always, thank you for watching.